Hello, my name is Lauren Camp. I'm coming to you from Santa Fe, New Mexico, where it is extremely hot and extremely dry. Um, we're going through quite a spell of heat. Um, it's almost intolerable, but uh, here we are, and we make the best of it, don't we? I want to read you a poem that I had in Ecotone in the fall winter 2017 issue. It was the craft issue, this beauty, uh, this gorgeous issue. My poem is called How to Make a Biscuit, and two things came together to make me write the poem. The first was a, um, an actual poem that I brought to my class that they didn't like. And my students are primarily elders, and they're very vocal about their opinions very often. So they had a lot to say about the poem, why they didn't like it. Um, it, was very, it was very interesting to listen to the discussion and a little bit unnerving. So there was that going on. And then the second thing that was happening was one of my students is a, a restaurateur. And she was talking about a video she had been watching earlier in the day. And the video became the title, well, the concept of the video became the title of the poem. And then I worked through that metaphor. So see what you think. It's called How to Make a Biscuit. In class, we talk layers of lines of a poem they don't like. No one is warmed by the writer's voice, the stir and fold as he hid what was sticky and sad. They fault such a sturdy package when they beg the tender most centers, crave the shameful butter of a thousand apologies. My students, they rant for an hour the vast vacant language, say it's drab, tamped down, doesn't melt on their tongues. Too pious, one says with a snicker. A duck blind, dinky, passive. The group is opposed every halt as it needs to the sides of the page. I listen to this long discussion and nothing tastes good. Ever the host of these 10 folks each week, I serve their reading while the sun is still trusting the sky. They matter and hold the technique, respectable enough, believe the crumbs the writer laid out are too light, the sift shut up in his hands. They can't pull the stanzas apart, feel them soft, see the residue rich on their fingers. Even so, they eat and eat. So it's been really wonderful to be part of Ecotone a few different ways now. I love everything they do and the way things are so carefully crafted and thought through and attentive to the earth. Um, so it's nice to be here and to get to uh, talk to you for a minute and read you a poem. I also want to tell you that I have a brand new book. It is out from Tubelo Press. Here is a cover image. Let's see if I can get it straight. It's called Took House. It's out from Tupelo Press, August 2020. Um, I've been working on it since 2005. Um, editing, crafting, uh, cursing, moving away from it, getting back to it over and over and over. Um, so it's out very soon and um, you can get it at Tupelo's website. You can get it at my website laurencamp.com. Either way, uh, buy it at your local bookstore. Do not buy it Amazon. Um, that's about all I have to tell you. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for letting me be with you for a few hot minutes here. Uh, be well, be safe, be calm.